here with Gypsy Fay Creations. Thanks so much for tuning in. Today's soap is inspired by bamboo. I have been tossing around this con design concept in my head for a while. I finally sat down and decided to put it together and I know what I want it to look like now. Inspired by like the spa vibes and a little bit of zen in there. My favorite part of getting a pedicure is those hot massage stones when those come out that is my that is my favorite part <laughs> oftentimes as well when you buy a bamboo plant it has the river rock so lots of green bamboo fresh spa scents in this and i don't know polished stones that is the theme of this soap so i'm going to mix together my oils and my lye solution i'm going to split this off into two different colors well, two different greens. I have a laurel green mica and an enchantment mica from Nurture Soaps. I'll pour this into my mold and let it sit for 24 hours before I come back and cut it up into like thin little pieces that look like stalks of bamboo. So for the base of this soap, I am going to color it all in one color, and that is going to be a Lemon Chiffon Mica by Nurture Soap. I'll give that a mix and add my lye solution. I'm going to keep this a very light yellow. I don't want it to be too dark. I really want those bamboo stalks to pop out. So lemon chiffon mica is always a fun color to work with because it morphs to a bright orange right before your eyes. <laughs> I am also mixing in some green tea seed oil into this and my fragrance oil. A little mix. I'll probably hit this with a stick blender for a couple seconds once I'm mixing all this in by hand. So, fragrance I am using is called Australian Bamboo Grass by Nature's Garden, and it has notes of lemon zest, spearmint, bamboo, lime, fresh air, lily of the valley, palm bark, musk, and bamboo stalks. And off to the side here, I have cut up that whole entire loaf of green soap into little pieces to look like bamboo and we'll start pouring this into the mold and then insert them into the batter and that is the base of the soap. The top of the soap I'm really excited about because I spent a lot of time on embeds. Okay, I'm going to give this a quick little buzz and start pouring. Rat. Wow, Tierra, just wow. <laughs> So going on top of this soap, I have these soap dough pebbles that I made are supposed to look like river rocks or massage stones. And then I also have some bamboo shoots that I made out of soap dough as well. I just ran some green soap through a uh, clay extruder 
And then I'll also add some leaves to these. So I really think this soap just had it out for me from the beginning. <laughs> Can we talk about a mess? And lessons learned because it did it all to me. And I think the mess topped any mess that I've ever made before. <laughs> that was so bad. Um, future, I will remember to put like a little bit of oil in between my mold and my liner so that it actually sticks to the side and that doesn't happen again. Um, that's the lesson learned. I also made way, way too many of these bamboo shoots and, and little stones. I don't know if I was just spacing out or I couldn't count or I don't know what was going on. But I doubled the amount that I wanted, so I am going to be making making a whole other batch of this soap. And now that I know what not to do, hopefully the next time it goes a little bit smoother. And yeah, it'll 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 look good in the end. It just caused me a lot of problems because I don't know I'm a dum dum. <laughs> But once this soap is done, I have a, another bottle of the fragrance and more of these little stones. So there will be plenty of these made in the future. If once these sell out, there will be another batch for sure. I think I did a really good job on these in beds anyway that are going to make this soap. I keep sticking my hand in the other loaf. Um, it's going to make this soap so much more enjoyable. It'll be nice to look at and of course use, but <laughs> I can't believe I made such a mess. Alright, so we'll put a bamboo shoot on each one of those sides and then we're going to stick one of these pebbles on the other side. And then I will have some green icing that I will go back and add some leaves with. And that is that. Speaking of time, I have a lot of it on my hands at the moment now that I'm doing this full time again and I want to start adding some new products. I've been trying out some new recipes, made a batch of conditioner bars, um, sugar whipped scrubs, some deodorants, there's just things that I can do that I want to learn and so I have been just playing around with some recipes to see what I like, what is fun, and what I can offer you guys. So that is also something to look forward to in this shop update are some new products. Okay, glitter, 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 glitter. Do I want to add glitter to it? I think I do. I actually have to think about this. Alright, let's see what we got on the inside. I just love these little embeds so much. Let's see. Oh, that's just perfect. Look at that. That is exactly what I was going for. Oh, I'm just so in love with everything about this soap. It definitely caused a lot of trouble for me and I struggled with it a little bit. But I think it was just like luck, that's all. <laughs> In the end, I think it just, it turned out exactly how I wanted it to. And it was so worth all of the work and frustration. 
So, I will be making two more loads of this, so I won't run out as quickly. If you guys want to purchase it, it will be available on August 21st. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that thumbs up. And if you are new to the channel and you like soap making, <laughs> be sure to subscribe. Any questions or comments, you can leave them for me in the comment section down below. And until next time, I hope you guys have a very nice day and I will smell you later.